my channel. Today we're going to be doing a series of floor bar exercises, which is basically a ballet bar lying down on the floor. Floor bar exercises are really great in feeling the correct muscles and teaching you how to use your muscles when it comes to standing up and doing an actual vertical bar. So this is a follow along class and let's get started. So first we're going to start with our plies on the ground. So here we go. You're going to lie on your back, facing up, feet pointed in front of you, and we're going to turn out our legs. And we're going to bring our legs up, dragging them on the floor of your toes, keeping your legs all the way turned out, and down. And we're going to do that about a bunch of times. And each time we do it, we're going to bring our feet a little bit higher off the ground to make it a little bit more difficult. And you can flex your feet from this point, or you can just keep them pointed. That's up to you. So here we go. And one, two, and three, four. So two counts up, two counts back. And a little higher, here we go. And one. Ooh, that's hard. Two, and three, four. Up again, and one. Two and three, four and up. Here we go. And one. It's actually getting easier as we go. Knees are pushing side. This is going to help you feel your inner thigh muscles. And up. Last time. And down. Two and up. now we're going to go down and lower it. And now the opposite. Plie and out. Stretch lower down and out. Plie up. Point lower down last time before we go on the floor. And out, lower down. Last time, here we go. And one. Oof, that's easier. <laughs> Two and three. Four. Beautiful. So moving on, we're going to go on to tendus. Lying down. So this one's going to kill your inner thighs, I promise. <laughs> so here we go. Again, first position, feet turned out. We're going to go up a little bit and lower across your legs like you're in a susu. Lying down and up and down. Cross. Cross your legs. That's how you'll feel your inner thighs. Up and down and up. Down, let's do five more. And four. Your bottom leg needs to stay straight the entire time and turn it out. I lost count. Three. <laughs> and two. And last one, one. Good. Switch legs. Here we go. And up. And up. And three. And four. Good. Five. And six, I feel my inner thighs. And seven. And eight, turning out both legs. Nine. And ten. And back to first. Now we're going to do it a little bit faster, but this time we're going to go and one. We're going to close. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go to the side. So both legs are going to go out. Five, six, seven, eight. So let me show it. We're going to go. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Cross the switch lights. Okay, here we go. And five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three. Four, and a five, six, seven, eight. Just two more times, one, two, time. Each side, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight. Last time, one, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight. And moving on, we're gonna do a passe exercise. So I'm going to start on my left side, um, my elbow propping me up. It's also okay to do this. 
but I find it easier, my elbows up. But same thing with the legs. And so our feet are stretched, our legs are stretched, and we're just gonna go passe one, two, three, four, and we're gonna lower five, six, seven, eight. Super important to keep in mind, our knee is side, so we don't want our knee facing front. As far back as you can get it, keeping your hip totally upright. Here we go, eight times, five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go, and one, two, and two, down, and up, and one, two, and stretch all the way, and three, and down, and four, keeping your abs engaged, two, and I think this is six, and down, bring your passe as high as you can, and seven, down, almost there, last one, and eight, and down, beautiful, and moving on to the other side, really quick, do a switch, and same thing, here we go, five, six, seven, eight, and up, and one, two, all the way up, down, <laughs> like you're drawing a line on your leg, two, and down. I hope you feel your inner thighs. <laughs> and through. And down. Really important. Keeping leg stretched. And four. And down. Keep your foot connected to your leg. And five. And down. Three more. Here we go. Six. And down. I might have miscounted, but it's good to do more. <laughs> Seven. And down, feeling your abs again, pulling up, and eight, last one, lower down, and good. Good, so we're almost there. Now we're gonna go onto our stomach. So you're gonna go onto your stomach, I have this beautiful towel here to just keep my head calm. <laughs> and you're gonna, same thing, first position, feeling your legs turning out as much as you can, and pointing your feet, we're gonna go, I'm just gonna rest my hand here, and we're gonna just go tondu. So you're gonna go up and down. We're just gonna do that eight times on each leg. Ready? Here we go. And one, down, and two, down, turning out, and four, and five, six, Knee faces up as much as you can, seven, and eight. Switching legs, and do one, and two, and three, and four. You should feel your inner thighs and a little bit your butt. Five, I don't know if you six, and seven, and eight. And here we go, both legs now going up at the same time as one. Down, it doesn't have to go high. Two, down, and three. It helps if you keep your head a little bit up, put shoulders down, and four, and five, six, it's hard, seven, keep going, last one, eight, down. Moving on, now we're going to do Ram de Jones lying on our back. So, lying down, same thing. Feet pointed and turned out, legs stretched. We're gonna go front, very low, not too high. You're gonna bring it to the side, keeping this left hip down and close. And when you bring it to the side, it's super important that your hip doesn't fall with your leg. So I find it really helpful to keep your hand here to make sure your hip doesn't do that. So we're gonna do four, one, four going out, and then we're gonna do reverse, so side to front. Here we go, five, six, seven, eight, and front. Side, close, and front. Side, and close, and three. Close, and four, and close. Reverse, and one. This one's harder, and close. Super important, keeping that left hip down and down, and three, 
down and four and down switching legs front down now the right hip needs to stay down and two down don't forget about that standing leg three as in the right leg down and four and close reverse and one and down and two and down and three and down and four and down good so moving on we're going to do an adagio into a grab along so we're going to do this lying down we'll first do it with the right leg and the left leg going to the front so on our back and then we're going to do it to the side on each side we'll do it to the side and then hardest for last we're going to go on our belly and do it from the back okay so here we go this is the last combination if you include time back <laughs> okay so lying down here we go susu lying down crossing your legs as much as you can we're going to go draw a line on your leg one two three four and then you're going to bring it out five six and seven eight and then you're going to do two ground bombas just taking your leg keeping your legs as straight as possible okay here we go let's get started right and then left and then we'll go on to our side five six seven eight and standing leg turned out one two and out turn out and close here we go and up down and up down switch legs and draw the line up your leg two three four and up and down up and down beautiful here we go moving on to our side i'm going to start with my left on my left side so right leg here we go same thing draw the line up your leg to double play down kick and here we go five six no let me hope seven eight and one two and three four down and up down up down on the side we're going to do twice each time one two and three four and up down and up down beautiful super quick switch sides i really feel my inner thighs and you should too this is a great way like i said before to make sure you're feeling the right muscles when you're standing up and doing bar here we go five six seven eight and draw the line of one two and three four and up down up down it doesn't matter how high it is one two three four and kick up down remember to smile seven eight so last thing here we go we're going to do the same thing but on our stomachs to the back now when we're going back it's super important to keep in mind that you're like not going to get as high as it did to the front or to the side and that's fine so what we're going to do to the back is we're going to go from coupe and then out to just a dégagé but the same thing so coupe extend and then two dégagés or bromelas whatever you want to call it to close here we go you're almost there and going around your belly i find it helpful to stay up a little bit their shoulders back arms here not pressing into your hands but just there for support and here we go and one two and out three down and up and up left leg one two three four and up and up yeah wonderful job everybody we're done um thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please check out my channel for more videos like this and i'll see you next time thank you